And it gets, it's okay, but it, it, now as we make more modern things, I think smaller little Legos is better than not small. So, here's a layout, this is a random web page that I've, uh, you've probably never seen. <laughs> this would be how we would do it in the olden days before the ones. Uh, the header would be a header PHP file, index to the Okay, the uh, header up there with my awesome arrows, index, page, single, whatever kind of content would go in there, and then there'd be a footer, maybe some extra files. But what I'm proposing instead is for us to think componently. And so at the top there would be block hero, block navigation, block content, block dark background CTA. I got a little funky with these naming conventions, but you can see that we're thinking of it as composable pieces. And why would I do that? If I've got a block dark background CTA, I can put it here, but I can also just reuse that block up here in between these two. So you've got like these composable Legos and different ones, but I'm going to go back over here because it feels weird over there. Uh, so, more files equals good. No, more files equals more organized. Let's dive in. So here's the old way. Um, and <coughs> files everywhere. Here's what a theme looks like if you don't know, have not seen one in a while. You've got uh, okay, okay. Um, header, function, Twitter, page three, this contact us, I blank out the client's name, uh, impact stories, these, all these like templates that, that live, and they've all got their own reason for being, but these all include just like massive amounts of code for every little piece of, of stuff on the page. And I'm, I'm getting I'm tiptoeing to some magic that I'm going to give you all that will make all this easier. Um, here's the CSS files. You can see, like, oh, contact us. Is there a contact us over here? No, I want to edit the news, but there's something on the news. Where do I edit that? And over here, I've got my news. So there, it makes sense, but you know, it's just, it's not clear. It's not everything bundled up in a nice little package. Oh, 
writing stations, which is dumb now, but they're efficient. <laughs> uh, so yeah, anyway, new developers can get behind if someone takes over the project, even if they ever touch it, it's more standardy than the Okay, so how do I use this? I'm glad you asked, but that's what I imagine, right? Um, so this is a one-line thing, and, and it's going to turn into something more here. But this is built into WordPress, get to a template part, and then you just put the file out, and you don't need to put the ending. Uh, WordPress is smart enough to know. Um, so blocks, header, header. And this is weird here, but the folder for the component and the file. Uh, and it's just one line. And so what you now move to with this magic piece of code is if you go into those like contact page templates, it's just several of these. It's, it's very clean. It's several little includes. Everything makes sense. And if you need to dive into one of those things, you just go over whatever the, the piece you want to edit. So it makes Things super, super clear and concise. Now let's go to the end. How do you cast variables? Um, so we've changed them a little bit. This is a magic trick that you probably do. Uh, include, locate template, and then this. Now this one's different and it does include. So again, I'll send these out if you need to. But by then just storing a value, it's now, because we're including it, available inside this block. So it's an easy way to cast variables in the uh, way we go. Uh, this will not allow you to pass variables in because it's actually using an include. It's rendering that out before I have a chance to, to do any kind of variables. So, more often than not, this will be the way that you're doing it. Um, and that's how it works. So, this is inside, as you can see here, we're doing a home page CTA. Home page CTA is the name of it. Um, and then now I'm free to use the image inside there. Any questions, comments, concerns right now? Are you just hungry? Or am I, am I okay? <laughs> I just see a lot of blank faces. It's just like, this is amazing. I don't know, I cannot move. Or I'm really hungry. Please shut up, gentlemen. So, would you be using the um, yeah, type of part is just to put, pull everything onto the uh, page or whatever page you're putting on? But on the, um, the variable, that would be like if you wanted to have more syntax or, or like a PHP file that's not going to go on yeah. the front end. So there's there's two ways. One, you could do you could do this if it's all self-contained completely, which I think we should try and strive for. But if you're doing some kind of funkiness where and you get all the recent posts of a certain custom post type or whatever, that might live a higher up and you use a call component to, to do it. But you could also just stuff that walking inside. It just depends on how you're doing your code. So I want to show ideally I think this is what you'll do. And then inside that file would be a recent post or whatever and stuff that so this was just an example because uh, with a lot of my devs, like when they're starting out doing it this way, like, how do you want to pass this? So I was just talking about this is an easy way to do it. Um, okay, so that's that. And then uh, with great power comes some great maintainability. I took this about and put components in it because it's components all the way down. Um, so again, you can then start to list, uh, to be next components. So let's take a look at that. I've got a header PHP from Brad in this header piece. This header piece then also has a navigation inside of it and then some other stuff. And then my navigation, I can stuff if I want to get rid of the zany, I can put another component here. But it just shows you how it cascades to these composable things. So then when you go into the header of PHP, it's just a small bit of like the meta stuff. My include for my header inside there is very simple, the syntax and then the navigation. And here's where the meme lives. Um, if I but then if I needed to include the map somewhere else, like maybe in the footer, so I would just do this again down the floor. Okay. Um, so again, why should you do this? It's preparing you for either future frameworks. Anyone doing React, View, Angular stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thinking components. And if you're from React, I think you might have already seen like depends on your way you live. I'm looking at you because you shook your head and raised kind of with React, but I'm sorry I'm not picking you. With React, um, it, there's two ways I think you can do it where you can set a file or you can do like the JSF scary nonsense where you can them all at once. Laughing because you know what I mean, right? It's the first time you look at that, you're like, oh, no, I'm not gonna do that. You just leave because it just looks gross. Um, but also it will save yourself, your future self, from wanting to cut you with a shit. I wrote that in a presentation and I'm sure you because I'm super professional. No, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of you like, who wrote this? And then you like go and yell at everyone in the office, and then they're like, what is he going to buy? He wrote this. 
So anyway, it'll save you from your future self wanting to kill you. Uh, and it also prepares you for Gutenberg. Could she be more good for one? Yes, I did see. So, what is Gutenberg? I think that's probably warranted because I've said it a few times and I haven't really explained it. There's been a couple of Gutenberg panel, or talks and a Gutenberg panel. It's a little easy to is what you get of the future. Um, it's going to have some probably by this year, but we'll see. And it's all component based, right? So, it's, it's uh, if you want a hero, and then some, some paragraphs, and some inside that bullet, all of those things are technically components. You need the components that build components, and the components that build the website. So Gutenberg is a little bit outside of this, but if you can get into this mindset of organization when Gutenberg comes, uh, it, will, it will just fit right into what you're doing in a more easy, maintainable way. Um, there was a really good talk. Okay. Yeah, Callan did a talk earlier today. Uh, and he uh, went over a lot of code examples. So um, if you get a chance to speak with him, he's got a slide deck and a code source that you can look at that really does in the same thing. So, um, okay. uh, Gutenberg is kind of the component. Yes, it is. Uh, so here's a cool website. I don't know if I've been at it. We'll honor our servants for that. So let's try it. So uh, again, if you don't know what Gutenberg is, testgutenberg.com uh, will let you have like an editor where you can go in and start doing it. So this is where WordPress is going. You'll be able to edit the cover page and just type it in line. Okay. Um, so yeah, anyway, it's going to start to become more what you see is what you get because as you're editing the page, it's displaying it. And if you think about it, this is a component, this is a component, everything is a component. And then you can add new components into your component while you're componenting. This is getting zany.
take that selector name, that length, and then that JavaScript is only rendering on that one page, and you can do the same thing for components where you can go like micro compress or CSS. So in your PHP file, you can do that single JavaScript. Uh, so it depends on how you're building it. Um, I think if you're wrapping that JavaScript and you do this, then it can live with all the JavaScript, but then only run in the text file or whatever. But you can, you can make that song. 